Hi, Ray Evernham here with the Americana Minute on Speed Vision. So now we're moved over to the Generation 2 Camaros. Pretty cool. Two frame cars built by Banjo Matthews. They ran 77, 78, 79, some of 80. You know, the IROC season used to split. So people said, well, wait a minute, 74 and 5? You know, wait a minute. So really, just remember they split it around Daytona. Riverside was the last race of the year for NASCAR. Daytona was the first. The IROC series split. But cool cars here. This Walter car, Darrell Walter. Won Riverside with this car in 1979. Really cool car, but maybe the most original IROC car on the planet. Got it from a guy named Wayne Darling. Wayne bought it directly from IROC, raced it a couple times, didn't modify it, anything, and it's sat in his warehouse for over 30 years. It's got the original engine, original transmission, all the original pieces. This car is gonna be the template for help putting cars like this back. And this really special car here is a car when Mickey Lauder ran one IROC race at Riverside, California before Bernie Ecclestone, but, uh, Bernie Ecclestone said no more, it was this car. This car was also changed into a Trans Am race car with George Fulmer, and George Fulmer won his last professional race in, in Trans Am in Laguna Seca, California. So this car needs a lot of work, a lot of restoration, but the good news is it's sitting right next to what we're gonna use as a template. So you'll be able to follow along to keep an eye on what we're doing with all these race cars on Americana on Speed Vision.